All right guys, so today I wanted to bring to your attention something you probably know, or for the ones that don't know, um, it's pretty informative. If you have a PlayStation 4, go ahead and update it to the latest version, which is 3.5. Now, you're probably asking why is this guy telling me to do that, but if you read the title, and I'm sure you did, you know where this is going. So I'm going to use my Surface to show you guys that with the new 3.5 update on the PS4, you're able to play it wirelessly, remote play to any PC running Windows 10. So that can be your actual computer, it can be a tablet, anything that run, runs full Windows 10, you can play your PS4 on. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, like in my case, sometimes when my wife likes to go to bed early, I can actually be in bed but playing the PS4 on here. Um, you do have to plug the controller straight into the system. Uh, it doesn't work wirelessly, not that I know of. Um, I will put a link to the program, the remote uh, program you have to download. Um, it's free of charge, just down there. All you have to do is have your Windows 10 device and your PS4 on the same network. So you can walk anywhere in your house as long as your Wi-Fi connects and your PS4 is on and play it in just remote play. I'll kind of show you here. I'm gonna obviously show some video too. Um, this is gonna be a really bad glare. Okay, so here is my PC. Um, and down here I actually have the little icon. So when you turn it on, it just pops up and it looks for a quick update. It does that every time, uh, which is good because you do want to stay up to date while playing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the start button and it's going to go ahead and find the PS4 that's on my network. So you're going to see it in a second. Go ahead and connect to what the PS4 is running. Now it's playing the sound through here. Now all I have to do is to plug my PS4 controller into the USB connection on here, and then I'm good to go. All of, right off the bat, you have your controls, your option, your share button, and the PlayStation button as far as touch screen up here. You're also able to hit that and make it full screen so that it's not in window mode because I don't really know why you'd want to play your PS4 in window mode. Um, but anyway, it's an awesome, awesome feature. It's very convenient, especially for me. Now, obviously, if somebody that has their own room and their TV and all set up there and their system and everything, it, it may not be as important. But the fact that you can play this anywhere in the house now, it's like having the PlayStation TV, but not have to have the TV. You can have it portable like this. So it, it's really convenient. The graphics are good. You can play around in the settings if you don't want it to run at like full HD, tone it back some. It, it is important to kind of play around in the settings some, but it's extremely simple. Make sure to just download the link below, follow the instructions, and you'll be up and running in no time. This was just a quick video just to show you guys something that I thought was an amazing feature. And a lot of people, when I talk to them about it, that have PS4s, don't know that it's actually capable of remote play onto their Windows 10 device. Now the Xbox One does this, but that's a Microsoft device. You kind of expect it to. But the fact that PlayStation said, you're not gonna outdo me, I'm gonna do this too, and it's free, and it's great. It works incredible. I've noticed no lag, but again, I think it's gonna depend on your connection. But anyway, this was a quick video to show you something different, show you the remote play. Um, I hope this helps. If you do have any questions, as always, just make sure to just ask questions below. I'm really good at responding to them. Um, thank you for checking out this video, and as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.